What happened in 1932 were these young people came out from Manchester and Salford in large numbers, five, six hundred perhaps managed to get through to Hayfield, uh, and they were sort of rocking the boat. They weren't part of the rambling um, groups uh, at all, and many of the rambling groups opposed them. But what was important about what they did is they came in and they attracted huge media interest because five of them were arrested and charged just for walking on the moors, really. Um, in fact, um, they were then sentenced to six months in prison after a farce of a trial that attracted, it went viral, really. And that's why it sort of got into the national consciousness, which it did. The campaign carried on after that, of course. Uh, I mean, some of the Ramblers groups sort of used the argument, well, the landowners had better get uh, into meaningful negotiations with us, otherwise there'll be more of that. So it, it had an impact in lots and lots of ways from there. But I think the important thing for the trespass is that that struggle continues today. Um, it's not something that, as I say, that began with the trespass or ended with it. And in many ways, the gains we've made since 32 are under serious threat at the moment. And they're not as uh, extensive as most of us think, actually. We only have access to 8% of accessible land. I mean, nobody wants to trample over crops and things, but of the land that is open countryside, we only have 8% now, and that's the best it's ever been. I, I, some people worry that the right to roam suggests that you're just going to trample over all sorts of things. And of course it doesn't mean that at all. Most people, even here on Kinder, we stick to the footpaths. Because walking off the footpaths is very, very difficult. It's great to do it, and uh, yeah, it's great to know that you can do it if you're wanting to get somewhere and there's not a path. But most walkers, most of the time, stick to the paths, especially if they're signposted properly. I don't think they do justify it. Sometimes they say things like, well, you wouldn't want people walking through your garden, would you? You know, I mean, we talk about a garden of hundreds, thousands of uh, square miles, sort of thing. Some of them seem to oppose it on principle. Uh, the late Duke of Westminster owned lots of land up in... Um, the Trough of Bolan and seems to have fought the extension of access almost as a matter of principle. You know, it's his land and you're not coming on it. <laughs> In 1932 it wasn't actually a criminal offence. They're about to criminalise it and their motive for that, they say, is that, well, we as ramblers shouldn't be worried, it's only aimed at travelling people, which is quite chilling, really. The wedge and, and to justify it about we're only directing it at one group is quite chilling actually you know first they came for the travelers and then who's next sort of thing